Good morning, everybody. Welcome back, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Amber. Uh, today, I've just got a little bit of a small haul for you. Um, I've got some pre-loved items that I've uh, ordered and purchased. I've got some items from Amazon that I ordered, and then I have one item that came from this most recent sale on the Vera Bradley website. So, let's start with the pre-loved items first. And as always, I'll put the name and uh, measurements for each of these up on the screen for you in case you're curious or you want to look for them yourself. So, the first item that I purchased is actually a lug item. And I've been looking for this forever. Um, I haven't been into lug for a very long time. Probably about a year, I would say. But, since I discovered the brand and saw this bag, this was something that I knew I really, really wanted. So, this is called the Punter. And this is in the, um, I can't remember the exact name. I'll try to find it and put it up here. But it's the gray and then the black on the bottom. And the bottom is like sparkly. It, it's completely coated so this doesn't come off. It's completely smooth. But it's got these little glittery sparkles in it. It's super cute. So it's called the Punter. And on this side, it's got that um, basket weave quilting. And then you flip it around and it's smooth on this side. So, it did come, let me show you, with the removable adjustable crossbody strap. And the end of it does have the little uh, twist, little twisty clips. But I just took the strap off because it's easier to show you guys when it's not actually attached. So, if you look at the side of the bag, you can see that this zipper has its own space, but it's not huge. So, in this section right here, this side is completely soft lined. And you have one um, slip-in pocket right here. So, I'm going to put the strap back in there. And that's the pocket that's on the smooth side. And then this other side back here, the side with the basket weave quilting, this has the majority of the space in this little bag. And in here, on this back wall, you have one of those uh, clear... I can't show anything today. You have one of those clear pockets that Lug is known for. And that's on the outside wall right here. And then on this side, you have two little cargo pockets. And behind that, you have a, a zipper pocket. So, this isn't a large bag by any means, but... I just thought it was so cute since the since I saw it. And so, I found this on... I want to say I found this on Poshmark. For maybe 8 or $10. Like, it was super cheap. And, um... Shipping, I think she reduced to $5.99 for me with this purchase. Now, I will say, after it arrived and I started really, really looking at it, where this bottom is plastic coated, you can kind of, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video, but like these corners right here where they are plastic coated, they've kind of got this, I don't know if you'll be, if it'll pick it up, maybe on that corner. But they've kind of, not really cracked, but they've just gotten a little bit of like a rough edge right there. Where the plastic has just bent over time. So, I would be aware of that if this is a bag that you are looking for. But, 
it doesn't really bother me because it's not something you notice through all of this glitter and all of the decoration that's on there. So, it doesn't really bother me. And I got it for such a cheap price, such an affordable deal that I'm good with it. And I still think the bag is super cute and I'm still really happy with it. So, again, this was the Lug Punter. Okay, the next two items I got from the same seller on eBay. <clears throat> and the first one is this Gen Zip ID in Fireworks, Fireworks Paisley, I think. This is the Vera Bradley Gen Zip ID in Fireworks Paisley. I think that's what this one was called. I'll, I'll put it up here for you. And... Just like any other Gen Zip ID, it has the flap opening here. And then on the back side, you have your zipper pocket. And this one was, I think she had this one listed as good condition, but there's absolutely nowhere. There's nothing on here. It's still stiff and I mean, it's in perfect condition. And I paid $6 for this one. So that was a bargain. Because since Vera has retired this Gen Zip um, item, people are trying to charge an exorbitant amount for these things. So I was really excited to find this for a good deal. And then along the same lines from the same seller, I got this one. And this one was new with tags. This is called... The RFID Petite Zipper and Wallet. Now, this is the factory style. So, it's not that new, um, the new one from the retail side with the three sections. This is the factory style. So, it's only got two sections, like these two sections in it. But, this one was still new with tags. And I think I got this one for 6 or $7 too from the same seller. Uh, shipping on it was $4.99 for both pieces, so I thought that was a really, really good deal. And it's got most of the turtle on this side. His head is actually down here. But it's mostly there, so I was good with it. And this is in the uh, Anchors Away pattern. And then on this back side, you have your clear ID with the little starfish in the window, so I thought that was really cute too. And it does have the, uh, if I can show you, the little quick release clip. And then you have a slip pocket on either wall. So you have one there and then one there. And then you have two open sections and then a little zip pocket right down the middle. I really like these. They're great little compact wallets which are my favorite type of wallet so I thought that these together were a really really good deal from the same seller okay the next few items I want to show you these all came from Amazon so let me pull these out let's start with this one this is by a brand called Fur Art. I have no idea. And it is just this little leather coin purse. It's supposed to be leather. I couldn't say either way. But the package shows that it is genuine leather and RFID protected. I'll try to um, maybe link this down below in case you're interested if I can find it again. And I got it in this really, really pretty soft kind of green color. So on this side, it has a little key ring. And it's a really good size. Let me see. There it is compared to the Gen Zip. So it's a little taller than the Gen Zip. But about the same width. If that gives you any reference. And inside... I don't know if I'll be able to show you this very well because it's pretty dark. You have another key clip. 
and it's got kind of just that uh, maybe nylon-y fabric lining and it's got a pocket right here on the side now I again love these little coin purses for little compact wallets little catch-all pouches however you want to use them I think I got this for like five dollars or something so if this is genuine leather that's a really really good deal and I'm really happy with it it's very very soft and malleable I'm pretty happy with the purchase so far the zip seems to work extremely well it doesn't catch it's really really smooth so I'm really really happy with it again I'll maybe I'll try to link it below if I can still find it there's a little bit of information if you want to pause the video so you can see it. Okay, the next item I ordered from Amazon is actually this Vera Bradley on a roll case. Uh, this is an Itsy Ditsy, and I've actually already got one of these. <laughs> but I ordered another one because... Itsy Ditsy is one of my favorite patterns of all time from Vera. And this was on like a super sale for some reason. I On Amazon, this was on sale for like $8. And I have no idea why, but free shipping, I, I couldn't pass it up. So I ordered another one. So if you're unfamiliar with the honor roll case, it has a magnetic uh, little closure right here to keep that flat down. You open it up. And you have a zip, little zip pocket right here. And this is clear. This is a clear window so you can see what's in there. And then down here, your main pocket, you unzip it and it's just one open pocket in there. Uh, this one is not plastic lined in the main pocket, but you have your plastic lined uh, little pocket up here. They're really, really simple, but they're great for makeup, brushes, pens, pencils, art supplies, things like that. Um, I use these sometimes as a little catch-all in my bags for, like, whatever. They're just a pouch. You can use them however you want to for whatever you want. Okay, the next item that I ordered, let's go with this one. So, if you're not familiar, which I'm sure you probably are, but just on the off chance, if you're not familiar, when you order items from Amazon, you can occasionally scroll down a little bit, and it will tell you if there's a better deal, a better price from somewhere else on the item that you're looking at. And specifically for, like, Vera Bradley items, say you're looking for, uh, let's just go with this. The Medium Cosmetic in Felicity Paisley. So I was looking at this. And I scrolled down just to see if there was a better price. Because I, I always do that. I'm always looking for a bargain. I always want to get the best price that I can. And it said, yes, there were better prices available. So I clicked on it and opened it up. And it said that there was one of these available from the Amazon warehouse that was in very good condition so what that means is that occasionally amazon does have i guess what they consider pre-loved items that they will resell so in this case this item was pre-loved it did not come with its original tags but i got this for like ten dollars i mean it was nothing compared to the retail price on the medium cosmetics, right? And I've done this several times where I've purchased these pre-loved Amazon items and I've purchased them in everything from very good condition all the way up to like new. And the only difference that I've noticed between any of these items is a tag. If it says it's very good, and this is just my personal experience, that's not to say that that's how it will always be. But if it said it was in very good condition, it didn't come with its original tags. If it said it was in like new condition, a lot of the times it still had its, its retail tags. It was just maybe the packaging had torn or was damaged a little bit. 
but the items have always shown up to me perfect with no issues, no scratches, no damage, no anything. And occasionally, if you really look at these listings, you can save a ton of money. So I highly um, recommend that you check those out. But this one is just the Medium Cosmetic in Felicity Paisley. And I haven't used it yet. So it's still all smushed up from uh, delivery. But look at that placement. I love that pink section right here. And it was just right in the middle. So I thought that was perfect. So the Medium Cosmetic, if, if for some reason you're unfamiliar, has this front zip pocket. Now, it's not lined. It's just fabric. And then the main pocket, you open up, and it's completely plastic lined. So, I like to use these, again, as catch-alls in my bags or uh, for art supplies, makeup, what have you. I mean, they're just great for storage of all kinds. So, again, that was the Vera Bradley... Medium Cosmetic in Felicity Paisley that I purchased from Amazon. <clears throat> now, the last Amazon item that I, that I bought, I bought it because I had to know. I had to see if it really was what they were showing on there. So, I found this listing on Amazon for zip IDs or whatever it was. I, I don't remember what the listing said. But I love zip IDs. I have a love-hate relationship with them because I can't use them as a full-size wallet for me because I don't hold everything that I need them to hold. But I still love them for my smaller bags or when I'm just, I don't need as much or even to hold like little random items in my bags are great for that. So, I do occasionally look at them on uh, like Amazon or whatever in just various patterns, various brands because I, I like other patterns. I like other things. So I clicked on a listing and it opened up and there were a variety of different patterns available and choices and as I was scrolling through them and looking... I started seeing Vera Bradley patterns. I saw what looked like mint flowers, go fish, um, butterfly flutter. There were various other ones. And then this one. And this looked just like Bramble. And it was super cheap. It was like six dollars maybe five or six dollars free shipping and the more I looked at it I was like I have to know I have to know if they are truly ripping off Vera Bradley's patterns I have to know if this is gonna arrive at my house and really look like the Bramble pattern so I ordered it and it does you guys there are minor differences this material is it's cottony, but it's almost got like a little bit of a slicky feel to it. Kind of like a nylon mixed with a cotton. I actually really like the way that it feels, if I'm being honest. The key ring on it is less substantial than like your Vera Bradley key rings. You can see the difference there. The zip zipper pull on it. <clears throat> is just the fabric that they've looped over and sewn. Whereas, you know, typically your Vera Bradley zipper pulls have the ribbon. And supposedly, this is RFID protected. Whereas Vera Bradley's zip IDs are not RFID protected. And then when you unzip it, this actually came with a matching lanyard. Now, I will say the back side of this looks terrible. Because you can see that white stitching and 
it's not the best quality lanyard and you can see they've just cut off the pieces right there and it's just a raw edge of the fabric but it's the same concept it has the clip it has the um little key ring so you know and i do really like the the feel of this material it's it's really soft and it's it's nice so I would imagine this would be extremely comfortable on your neck. I haven't tried it yet. Otherwise, there's no interior pattern. You can see the bottom just has that raw edge of the fabric again. And it's kind of a, just like a solid nylon inside. There's no pattern on the inside or anything like that. And then otherwise, it's just got your pocket there. And it's supposed to be RFID protected. So, you can uh, do with that information what you will. I just figured since I ordered it to see what it was, I would show it. Because maybe somebody else had seen it and they were curious as well. So, there it is. It is what it is. The last item I have to show you is a piece that I ordered from... The most recent sale on the Vera Bradley website. And if you saw my holiday gift guide, then you'll know that this is a gift for my mother. And uh, thank goodness she doesn't really watch this channel, so she won't see this. But I figured you guys might like to get a look at it. This is the multi-strap shoulder bag in toasted terracotta. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I can see it right now. This is showing up a lot brighter on the camera than it is in person. This is a much more muted, coppery color. It's, it's actually really, really nice. I'm not sure how I can show you a more accurate color. Huh. Let me think. Anyway, this is the multi-strap shoulder bag. So, if you're unfamiliar, you have these two um, grab handles right here at the top. And I can get these over my, my arm, but literally this is right in my armpit. So, I would not carry it like that. To me, I use these as grab handles. Or, you know, crook of the arm, whatever. So, on the front here, you have a really nice size magnetic pocket. And there's a look at that interior. Really pretty. And then, on the back, it looks like it might be that same size, but it's not. It's just, um, like a cell phone slip-in size. Like, here's my cell phone. And mine sits right at the top of that, but it fits pretty well. And then, if you open it up, your interior, you have one zipper pocket, two slip-in pockets on that side, and it's got a good size base on it. This is a really good, decent-sized bag. I would call it a medium-sized bag. I would say it's on the larger side of your medium-sized bags, but to me, this is still a medium-sized bag. And it does come with your removable, adjustable, um, crossbody shoulder strap there. And those connect right here on these D-rings that sit on the inside of your bag right there. So I was trying to think of something I could compare this color to for you. To give you a little bit of a better, um... Just something better to compare it to. So you might be able to see it a little bit more accurately. But I don't have a lot of orange up in this room. <laughs> Let's see. Here's the pink of a Vera Bradley bag. 
Nope, that's just making it look a lot brighter, actually. Let me see. Maybe I can lay it down here and pick you up and show you. It's coming out so much more orangey than it actually is, you guys. The color that it looks like it is in the shadow there, that is more accurate to me than the brighter spots. So, I don't, I wish this would show up accurately for you guys because this is making it look a lot more orange than it is because this this color is not orange to me it's this color is a really really nice rust color it's kind of orange kind of brown i don't know i don't know how to explain it but there is a look at it for you not uh not coming out super accurately, unfortunately. That, uh, over here where it's kind of in the shadow, this is a lot more accurate than up here where it's brighter. So, hopefully that gives you a little bit of a look at the toasted terracotta color, and maybe that'll help, maybe it won't, I don't know. But, anyway, that's my little, my little haul, my little items that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions or you just want to say hi as always leave me leave me a comment down below i love talking to you guys and i will see you next time bye